Welcome to today's final moment for meditation, contemplation, and prayer. I invite us into the sacred space by lighting our chalice, the symbol of Unitarian Universalism. And I do so today to lift up the intention of marking endings and new beginnings. For today's final moment of contemplation, I want to invite you into a practice with me, a practice of building an altar to find a place to connect to spirit, to the sacred, to others, to practices that are life-giving and life-affirming and to mark out a space for those practices in your life. So an altar doesn't have to be large. Mine is no bigger than the size of a dinner plate, um, but it should have items of significance on it. Um, ways that invite you into a different conception for your mind and your spirit. Um, a different way of being than in the rest of your life. So on your altar, perhaps, you will have a stone. Something that connects you to earth, that grounds you and offers you a tangible reminder of the ways that time changes us. Perhaps you will include candles for joy and for sorrow to mark those milestones that are important in our conception of who we are and in relationship to other people and which follow the ups and downs of this strange and miraculous life. Perhaps you'll include something to remind you of the beauty of play, of chance and circumstance and connections to joy and spirit through exploration and experience. Perhaps you'll include an item that connects you to a particular place or particular people. Something organic or something gifted, something that reminds you of where you're coming from as you experience where you're going to. And perhaps you'll include something that invites you into a practice of nourishment. Whether that is an offering of food or water or something that is spiritually rather than literally nourishing, I hope that something of nourishment finds a place on your altar. And finally, I do hope that you will find a place for a chalice on your altar for this ritual symbol of Unitarian Universalism, a way to mark an entry into sacred space and to close out that space with finality. Something that is an invitation towards a different way of being, a different way of experiencing a different way of embodying all that we can be and all that we may become. Finally, I want to end this time with you with a spirit of gratitude. Thank you for indulging me in watching these videos week after week, for commenting, for connecting with me outside of this virtual realm. Um, 
for lifting up the connections that you have made among yourselves and the new explorations of spirit that you have engaged. So, it is in that spirit of gratitude that I will extinguish our chalice today. But I hope you know that as I do so, this does not extinguish the light of truth or the warmth of community or the fire of commitment, which we carry in our hearts until we are together again. Amen. And goodbye, my friends. This has been a strange and miraculous journey. Uh, and I am grateful to have moved along this path with you.